All right. So now for this last equation, this v squared equals v naught squared plus 2a to the x. Um, it looks different up here, but this one is more for, this is the full one, and this x piece right here, usually the x initial is 0, and so that's why we just turn it into this. And really the only time that you would use this equation is when you don't have time. And if you don't have time, you could find time using the t equals root 2x over a. But then you have a calculated time, and if you could use this to get your velocity, that is much more preferable than using a calculated value in your equation to find a solution. So let's do one real quick. So if I drop something, what if I drop something 40 meters, we'll stick with that, then how fast is it going? at the end of those 40 meters without knowing how long it's fallen. Well, v naught is going to go to zero, and we want to solve the variables first, and then we want to solve the equation first, and then we'll plug in numbers. So we start with 2, negative 9.80 meters per second squared, and then we're going to multiply that by 40 meters. Kind of messy, I know, I'll clean it up. So we're going to have 80 meters, that's what this 2 times 40, times negative 9.80 meters per second squared. And so we're going to get meters squared over second squared. We're going to take the square root of that because it's v naught. And so we're going to get meters squared over second squared, which is going to be meters per second when we take the square root. So now I bring out my calculator here, and I'm going to take 80 times negative 9.8. So 80 times negative 9.8, that's going to give me 784. So negative 7, and now I'm going to take the square root of that second. Oh, I have to fall. I have to fall negative 90 meters. I'm, see, I'm even making a mistake. So negative 40 meters, that's going to make that negative. So that way when they are multiplied, it's positive. So I have the square root, second root of 784, and that's going to be 28. And you can't. Oh, you can't have a negative velocity. And so we're actually going to have a negative velocity in the solution to this answer. So my answer, my final answer would be 28, negative 28 meters per second. And the reason that I know that my velocity is negative is because I moved in the negative direction of position and my displacement when I started with a negative 40 meters because I'm falling. And so that's kind of how you'd use the equation. The more important piece is knowing the algebra and the confidence to move, rearrange parts of the equation to find out what you need using the equation when you don't have time and use that equation. And so that's that equation um, for physics.